Honestly, it came as a surprise and uh, I think most people in the circle in Jamaica in particular, people who I talked to who, are, who really know what's going on, they were also shocked that this move happened. It's well known in the track and field community that uh, both athletes don't necessarily get along. To what extent? Obviously that has not necessarily been played out in, in the media circles, but if you know, you know. And so her moving to work with Rolando Walcott seems uh, as a surprise move, it, almost as if it came out of left field, to use a baseball terminology. Can they get along? I'm not quite sure. Uh, do they need to get along is a better question. I suspect they will be training separately. I don't know the details yet. Some people I talked to suggest that that might be the case. And for preparing out two world-class athletes of this kind of caliber. I'm not quite sure they'll be using the same program, particularly because one, you have a Shelly and Fraser Price who is much older, who requires different types of preparation at this stage. And Elaine in particular is an injury-prone athlete, an athlete that if you don't manage those injuries, then she may not perform at her best. So I suppose some kind of tailoring, even if the programs may look similar in the end, so they may not be doing the same workout and certainly may not necessarily need to be doing the same workout at the same time. Maybe at some point they may get on the track together if you try to work on some starts or something of the sort, but that may come at a later date. But it seems uh, from what I've heard, and there's some of this is in the media already, but I've talked to some people that they may not necessarily be operating at the same time. So. I will say, however, though, I'm happy for Elaine because she found an, a setup that you hope can do the job, right? I've often said, especially in the last few years now, in terms of ever since the exit from MVP, that maybe a fresh start away would uh, do her well, particularly outside of Jamaica. Clearly, they don't want to do that and they have not, and they've chosen who might be on the verge of being one of the great coaches in the future already you know securing significant uh, medals with Shelly and Fraser Price and you know Elaine's talent is not the question her commitment is never the question it's just about managing niggling injuries or managing injuries that will prevent her from performing at her best and you need to be at your best if you're going to be competitive uh, to one make the Jamaica team and two try to make a successful defense which i imagine will not be easy under any circumstance